I bring to you, the American people, the greetings of friendship from the Chinese people. Friendship to us Chinese is a sacred thing. And when we consider that for 160 years, America and China have been friends, I know you will feel, as I do, that we sh shall be friends always. I feel that friendship is a very sacred thing, and that reason as well as emotion plays an important part. <laughs> to have this opportunity of speaking a few words to you. When I was in the hospital, various thoughts surged into my mind. Perhaps you will be interested that sometimes I asked myself, what can we do to perpetuate the traditional friendship between our two great nations, the two great nations on the opposite shores of the Pacific. I thought that perhaps there are three things which would help to make our friendship a deep and lasting one although it has lasted for almost two centuries up to this time. To me, the three unities will perhaps contribute to our lasting friendship. I mean the unity of ideals that we already have then the unity of faith, good faith between friends, the faith that would not allow suspicion to enter into any of our minds, and last but not least, unity of action, concerted action, so that we can cooperate and coordinate all our actions in order to attain victory as soon as possible and in order to maintain a lasting peace all over the world so that all men will really be brothers in the true sense of the word. I 卢总统的夫人我们的友谊可以是上这的
就是我们不但是为自己而抗战，我们为世界的人类而抗战，使得各国的人民可以得到真正自由、平等。第二点呢，就是我们两国要有同样的信念、同样的信仰，彼此。大家是知道大家的神意。第三点呢，就是我们要大家有共同的行动，不但是在抗战的时候，大家是要合作，是抗战以后能够使得世界的人民，大家真正有永久的和平。